In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I beat Pet Simulator X Hardcore Mode with Basic Cats. You don't need to spend thousands of Robux, you don't need huge pets, you don't even need mythicals. I'm going to be explaining how all the pros are doing it, so stay tuned, but first, let's rewind. This is me, a noob who knows nothing about hardcore mode and has been grinding it for months and months getting nowhere. The first tip, by the way, is don't just press play on Pet Simulator X. What you want to do is click this link. I'll leave it in the description. It goes straight to hardcore mode and you can join your friends for boost in servers directly in hardcore. Instead of being a noob and wasting time traveling via the void. Flashback. Here I am on a server without any friends and no boost. It was at this moment when I realized something fishy was going on. A normal me equips all of my huge pets and just attacks everything in hardcore world because I spent thousands and thousands of pounds on all these pets. Surely they're the best thing, right? Wrong. I noticed something a bit strange. There were lots of these small pets attacking singular gifts in the background. However, I totally ignored it and just loaded up my auto clickers. Now I've been using tiny task and OP auto clicker as a combination. I kind of record my mouse going along all of these parcels and gifts and coins and did I say parcels? Chests and vaults whatever's in the background i record that and then i turn my auto click on and let it play back little did i know i was about to ruin this person's day by destroying all of the gifts on this server but i was a noob i didn't know the new op method that everybody was using it was at this moment when i noticed something strange again i found this pro player standing on top of a gift with a bunch of basic cats all attacking it huh? what is going on why would he do this why would he not use all of these lovely huge pets instead like this guy is doing in the background there is no way these basic cats are going to be able to break this present, this gift. What is going on? So I used my big brain and thought, what if I copy him and find out what all the fuss is about? So I headed straight on over to go and get myself some basic cats. Changed my auto delete settings so that only basic pets survive this hatching. The idea is I'm going to get myself a full team of basic cats, just like that dude had a minute ago. A few moments later. Here is my brand new squad of cheap basic pets. You can tell they're hardcore because they're kind of glowing out of their heads. What we're going to do is exactly what this guy's doing with his basic cats. But I'm going to do it with my basic pets. And we're going to attack one gift at a time and see how many rainbow coins we get. I'm not expecting too much, to be honest. Well, hang on. What is that? How how did that happen? Anyway, I'm not sure if that's part of the glitch, but what we're doing right now is we're going to monitor the tick rate, see how many coins we get. We're getting 45k, 25k. All right, I must be doing something wrong. Let me try another gift. What? <laughs> Every time you attack a new gift, you get a ton of gift bags. However, the tick rate is still pretty low. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and enchant these pets. I just spoke to the guy and he's given me the secret. I still don't understand how every time you attack a new gift, you get all of these loot bags. There must be something in this. However, what we need to do is go and enchant these pets. Follow me. Meow! Fear my full team of basic cats. Now, depending on what world you're currently in, it could be spawn world, it could be fantasy world, it could be tech world. The basic concept works in all worlds. However, I am in rainbow world or cat world. What we need to do to get the most rainbow coins is enchant all of these pets. I do have a faster and cheaper method later on in this video, but right now, if you you want to actually enchant your pets the best thing to do is choose this one right near the enchant button this is the fastest way so you don't have to move your mouse very far keep enchanting until you get wow tech coins five now i don't need this on this account but i do need it on my ult so what i'm gonna do is stick this in the bank because these are hard to get and then get back to enchanting such fun what we're looking for is any enchants with the v the five enchant so rainbow coins five tech coins five fantasy coins five or if you're still in coin world then you can use coin five obviously you can't enchant it yourself but i'll explain more later one hour later this is actually the most expensive and longest method however we just got a rainbow coins four yay now that's pretty good not as good as rainbow coins five but we're gonna take it one hour later all i want is rainbow coins five. oh yes rainbow coins meow after i calmed down i realized i'd spent hours enchanting pets and i needed to come up with some methods that were much faster and cheaper as i'd spent a lot of gems and all i had to show was this one rainbow five cat which i also rename to rbv which helps me find it when i'm searching now there are faster or even cheaper ways of getting rainbow five or tech five enchanted pets whichever you need i'm going to show you the first method which is of course 
trading. Generally, the trading plaza is probably only good for huge cats, huge dogs, huge pets, exclusives, and mythical. <laughs> Wait, what is this monstrosity? What even is that? Hold on, hold on. This kid is about to get scammed. Bruh. No scam. It will not happen to you again. Uh, don't worry. LCLC to the rescue. I will record this so you don't get scammed, bro. You are not LCLC, though. He looks like a scammer, dude. Don't trust him. Hold on, hold on. I just found someone who wants to trade, so I'm going to go and join them. I reached out to a few people on Discord, and this person here, Sparkle King 20 has not only set up this server to have a ton of gifts, which I'm going to explain why later, but also has a bunch of Rainbow Five Enchanted pets for trade, and here he is. Notice how all of his friends are not breaking the presents, the gifts. They're keeping them alive, and I'm going to explain why very soon. First, I need to trade with him. I'm going to get some pets out of my bank so I can do this trade. Yo, I got a nice gold huge balloon. I'm going to withdraw that. Hi, want to trade for this huge balloon? Now, I know what you're Bruh. thinking. This is probably not going to be a good trade. However, I think you're totally wrong. It takes forever to enchant these rainbow five pets. And Sparkle here has got loads of them. Look at all these bunnies. Look at all these cats. Rainbow four, rainbow five. This is going to save me hours and hours of time. With a full team of rainbow fives, I've readied up because this is what I need to get to the end of Hardcore World. Little did I know at this point that a few hours later, I would find a much cheaper and faster method of getting rainbow five enchanted pets. I tidied up my inventory by deleting all of the pets without any enchant and equipped all of my rainbow four, rainbow five enchanted basic pets. Brought some of my alts online onto the same server as me using the link that I showed you at the beginning of this video. Added some more people from the server as friends so I could get even more boost and then set to work attacking this one gift with all of my rainbow enchanted pets all at once. Now, let's see what tick rate we get. 950k. To, well, it's like a million per tick. That's nuts, but we can do better than this. Sparkle was able to set up his server to have a ton of gifts on it. Here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. He had like 30 on his screen. He was able to send one pet to each of the presents to maximize the amount of rainbow coins you get per tick. So here I'm gonna demonstrate it with just this many gifts. Gonna have to send a few pets to each of the presents so that I've got all of my pets out. Let's see what we get per tick. We got 1.08 million million there. It's jumping up by a million each time, a little bit more slightly than a million, I think. So there's definitely room for improvement if we get, oh, I've only got 19 pets equipped as well. So if we could get more gifts and more pets equipped, we could push this up even higher. Just realized I've got enough money to get through to the next area. So we're going to purchase that. However, I can't see any gifts in here. I don't think any spawn in this area, but we're going to need 70 billion to get through. So what we're going to do is continue to mine the gifts in the previous area because this is the most OP way to get coins right now however i still need a few more rainbow five pets i don't want to enchant them i want a faster cheaper way of getting them and i know exactly how to do it i'm going to set up my auto clicker here and leave this mining coins whilst i use my other account to mine for rainbow five pets you can do this on your main account or if you've got an alt and another device then go ahead and do that so what we're looking for is the cheapest egg with a legendary in it now legendaries come with an enchant by default so what we're looking for is the cheapest legendary egg and behold the beach egg with the legendary hydra my favorite pet in the entire game we're going to auto delete basic rare epic we're going to keep legendary on for obvious reasons and we're going to try and auto hatch as many as we can so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn my super luck and ultra luck on now you may not know this but this is a tweet from pet simx leaks to clear up the confusion from preston saying boosts do not change the hatch chance of huges here is all the information we know about boost and the luck game pass the lucky game pass a 400 robots was introduced in update 3 increases your chances of getting a rare epic legendary or mythical pet permanently however they also go on to look at the ultra luck boost which multiplies your chances of hatching rare epic and legendary pets but not mythicals or exclusives and the super lucky boost also doesn't increase your chances of hatching a mythical or exclusives that's quite interesting to know however all we need for this video is legendaries now i'm gonna pay to win because i want to make this video really fast for you rather than all the boring bits but you can do this with just one hatching pet you don't have to spend robux but if you do don't forget to use star code lc lc what i've not got the lucky pass either better cop that not only is this method cheaper as in it doesn't cost you any gems and hardly any coins but it's also easier you can just walk away go make a cup of tea and then you'll come back to hopefully some legendaries yes wait what is this weird glitch Legendaries come with one enchant. This one already has rainbow coins one, and this one has agility. It's just what we've always wanted. 
If you leave this running for an hour or so, you'll come back to a full inventory. I'm going to go do a puzzle. 20 minutes later. Now I've got a full inventory of legendaries with enchants without spending any gems and hardly any coins. All you got to do is go through, delete all the rubbish ones and pick out the good ones and keep those. Such as Fantasy Coins 4, which I need for my ult. Yay, found a rainbow coins for. I'm going to put all the good pets into my main bank account. To carry on mining legendaries on this alt account. And meanwhile, my main account has managed to accumulate 20 billion rainbow coins. Let's head on over to the bank and collect our brand new hydras with rainbow enchants. And let's put these guys to work. Collect some money. We only need 50 billion money to get through. Should be there in no time. Look at that. Cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, 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 ching. <laughs> the next day good morning i left my computers running overnight and we've got 46 billion rainbow coins and oh check it out the new lclc mug over here on my other screen you'll see that we've hatched a ton of legendaries and Bruh. it's just look it just scrolls and scrolls there's so many in here i need to sort these out i need to find all the rainbow enchanted ones room tour a few of you have complained that my toys were just all over the floor, so I put them in this nice, neat little jar thing. I don't know. What do you think? This is a good place to keep your toys. And here we've got a... Oh, 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 Face down as well. We've got a cat. I was just going through my inventory and check this out. This is a double enchant. Rainbow Coins 5 and Coins 5 on one Hydra. What are the chances of getting both those enchants on one pet at the same time? Many unbearable hours later. Yo, check it out. Look at my Rainbow Coins. They're at 68 million. 999 all we've got to do is roll it over dj oc oc Yay, we did it. We can now afford the Cat Kingdom area. The hardcore mode came out in like, what, July, August? I don't know, but it was months and months ago. And I've been grinding it ever since then. And today, it took me not very long to get through with these basic tips and tricks. You too can break through hardcore mode in no time at all. 70 billion? Not a problem for me. Not with my hacks and glitches and tips and basic cat tricks and just open the door, LCLC. 70 billion. 70 billion and behold the end of hardcore world until the next update